and just so you guys can see this is the dye pin that we use if you find it on amazon it's a 20 milliliter syringe or dye testing pin then i don't remember the gauge of the needle i'll find it and we'll post it in the description but the most important part i believe is that this tip is a special special type of tip i believe it's called a lure lock system um, but i'll double check that we'll get this posted in the description for you guys so if y'all are looking for some good quality dye testing pins uh, you'll see exactly what i'm using so let's go ahead and get started with the dye test uh, so with this guys when you're dye testing you really want the pool and spa you want the water current to be as still as possible uh, so you really don't want to get in the pool at all you want it to be turned off you want the pump to not be running for several minutes before uh, you start dye testing and on windy days sometimes it makes it a little more difficult because the water is going to be moving uh, but you really want all this to be as still as possible even when you're diving in the pool and dye testing around different drains or the light just try to keep your body movement as little as possible uh, then just a core principle i'm not going to teach too much but just a core principle of dye testing is you don't want typically you don't want to give a giant blast of dye like that it's going to make it very difficult to tell what you're looking at so when you're dye testing in front of a plumbing line like this one you just want to let a little bit of dye go I can tell this pool's moving back and forth. I'm gonna put the camera underwater so you can see what this looks like. 